Hello. Okay, we are in my lower bed, my lower garden bed, and I want to do a uh, Revolution Garden Bed review. This is my Revolution Garden Bed system that we're growing. So I've got squash growing over here. Oh, I broke it off. So that one's probably not going to grow now. <laughs> Maybe it will. I'm going to support it and uh, hopefully it'll be okay. But we've got a lot of squash. I won't move it growing over here. And my tomatoes, you can see they're taller than me which in a zone eight or higher, that's not real impressive. That's pretty normal, but I'm in a, a zone five B to six A. And we got these planted at the end of June, almost July. So we were late because we were constructing the bed. If you watch my other videos, you can see uh, a little bit of that. And, um, but they've taken right off. We've got tomatoes growing, a lot of nice tomatoes. I've, I saw a few red ones down in here. Um, so we're getting some of them ripen off and it's August 20, second 23rd and this is the revolution garden system for uh you can uh, i'll leave a link to it you can uh, google it that james fry developed now i haven't followed his instructions exactly i've kind of taken some uh, creative liberties and uh, the instructions is how to how to build it you kind of have to design your own your own space or, you know it's not all here you go it's all done for you kind of thing it's not a step-by-step -step instruction but but it works it works really well I like the Revolution Garden System. It's basically a hybrid between a, like a hydroponic system or an aquaponic system and a wicking bed. It's a self-watering wicking bed. And uh, so let's go over to the other bed here. We have two beds here, stack system. So this is shaded most of the time as I've explained before. So we're experimenting with this and trying to get some uh, plants that grow better in the shade and you can see we have a lot of bare spots but we're, it's getting we're getting better getting some chard in there growing that's do, not doing too bad it's nice healthy stuff we ate quite a bit of it for dinner last night up top here I've got some potatoes there they're doing pretty good and then I just planted some beets in here they've been in here what do you think Cindy about a month about a month or so so they're small yet but uh, they, they grow pretty fast and uh, by the end of the season hopefully we'll have a nice crop of beets and potatoes and we only got a few potatoes in there but beets are cool I like beets and that's something you can plant in the spring harvest then plant again kind of like radishes okay let's go up to the other bed this bed here is up at the top this is the bed that I built first and this is my second summer running it and uh, it's ran really well and they're all running really well and um, my last video, uh, I burnt the crap out of my leaves because I sprayed them when the sun was up with some calcium and my shade cloth wasn't, it was all tore up. And it burnt the leaves, burnt them quite bad. But that was only a few weeks ago and you can still see some of the speckles on here. But that's what I like about the Revolution Garden System. It grows so quickly that it just came right out of it. It's fine. We've got all kinds of peppers growing. Go around here. You see, some of these peppers are huge. They're big peppers. Nice and healthy looking. We've got some, some ripe ones. These are my hot cherry bombs. They're ready for picking. We've got some jalapenos back here. I like to ripen them to red. I don't pick them when they're green. Got some yellow ones back in there. Then I've got some super hots back here. This big one here is my uh, chocolate ghost pepper. And uh, it's got a few on there. There we go. See, they kind of blend in pretty nicely. But those will take forever. I don't know. I hope they ripen in time for our short growing uh, climate here. Got some basil in here, Jay's peach ghost scorpions. And um, anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'll, like I say, I'll leave a link to the Revolution Garden System and you can build your own if you like it, do your own uh, investigation. I'm not a salesman, I'm just a customer. And this is how... <laughs>
there's my helper. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. Sorry.